All right, what's poppin', everyone? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are doing well. I hope that. I'm still a little bit under the weather, but here I am again making a video for you guys because there's a couple of interesting things that I want to talk about in today's video. So welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video, which is, of course, a Chelsea news video where I will be talking about two things. One is some confirmed good news of Billy Gilmore has been fully promoted full time, permanently promoted to the Chelsea first team and that shows a great show of faith from the Chelsea manager. He's an excellent player. We're going to be talking about that a little bit. And also, Chelsea did actually make a bid for Hakim Ziyech in January, went in for him and will go back in for him in the summer. What does that mean for Chelsea moving forward and their other targets? How good is he? What's going on? All that kind of stuff. But before I get into this content today, guys, I want to remind you all there, please, to subscribe to Football Therapy. If you've not yet done so, we're so close to 40,000 subs. It's pretty epic, man. It's all happening. Please do subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell and notifications icon, because apparently that is really important. Why not like the video? Help me out. And also, <clears throat> if I can get through my sentence, follow me on Instagram to hang out with me on Instagram Lives. Let's get into it. Right then, Billy Gilmore, young lad from the academy. No, wait, wait, he's from the academy. Wait, well, he's from the development squad. We did buy him from Rangers though, but a young kid from the development squad. I've watched him live a few times. He is a superb footballer. Now, everyone's concerned with Billy Gilmore when you look at him. He looks like your 14 year old brother that just shouldn't be on a football pitch playing with men, let alone at the highest level in Premier League with that physicality and speed. But the truth is, the young Glaswegian has no trouble dealing with physicality whatsoever. He may look soft, but dude can take it. And the most important thing out of all of this is he is an absolute baller. Billy Gilmore is a midfielder, right? But he can play so many roles. He can play the pivot slash regista slash quarterback slash playmaker, whatever you want to call it. He can play on either flank in the midfield, left centre mid or right centre mid. And he's very, very nimble and technical and pick up. And, blah, blah, start that again. Very nimble, technical and can pick a pass playing in the hole as a number 10. Very good at combining, doing one touches, one twos, all that kind of thing. Superbly versatile, superbly technically gifted and just an awesome player. Although he doesn't mind getting stuck in with a tackle, he's probably not the best defensive player inherently because of his frame and stuff, but I tell you what, he does look the best when he's playing in that sort of deep playmaker quarterback regista role because he can pick a long pass really, really well. We're talking shades of Cesc Fabregas. I know it's high praise early doors, but he does look like he can be that kind of profile of player. Now this is huge for Chelsea. He's just been promoted to the first team. Obviously, he'd been playing with the first team, had some appearances. Every now and again, he trains with the first team or he goes back to the development squad and plays a few games with them. But Frank Lampard called him in at the Leicester game into his office. Oh, wait. Yeah, into his office because it was at home. No, it wasn't. It was away. It was away. He just called him over after the Leicester game. And he said to him, look, mate, after this, you're going to be coming in every game to the match day squads. You're going to be permanently installed into the first team. And that's what's going to happen. Of course, unless you don't want to, Billy Gilmore jumps at the chance and said, yes, I want to. I'm in gaffer. I've made it. So that's superb. Now, obviously, Jorginho loves Chelsea and he's posting on social media at home when he's training back at Cobham and stuff. But obviously, his agents linked him away. There's always a chance a bid might come in for Jorginho that Chelsea can't refuse, maybe. Although, I don't think Frank Lampard, Chelsea fans, or maybe even he wants to go. But it's nice that there's a player like Billy Gilmore that can sort of play that role. Sure, Kovacic can, but they're kind of different. Anyway, I've spent enough time telling you guys why Billy Gilmore was so, so good. Obviously, he needs time to develop, but he can be a huge player for Chelsea. If you watch Football Therapy, you will know that I love the player, and I always maintain that he'll be in the midfielder selection for next season, which is a big shout, but I genuinely think he is. Even if he just starts all cup games and rotates in the midfield in the first team, I genuinely think he can be a huge, important option. Right. Let's move on. Mr. Frankie Lampard was not so happy after the closing of the January transfer window. We all know it. He said 90% shut. I think there was stuff going on behind the scenes to try and get a goal scorer. But interestingly, more and more news has come out ever since to indicate they didn't just look for strikers. They were actually ready to buy 
big players in the January transfer window. We know they inquired about Jadon Sancho, probably already knowing they wouldn't be able to get him in January, but they made a bid for Hakim Ziyech. They wanted him and they still want him and they think they can get him this summer and they're gonna stay interested in him, watch him to the end of the season and try and buy him. Now, this has been reported by Matt Law of The Telegraph, who's very close to Chelsea Football Club, always has been, and generally is very, very accurate indeed with all his information. I'm gonna read you the opening couple of paragraphs of the article and then I'm gonna to talk to you afterwards about what I think it means how good Hakim Ziyech is, etc. <clears throat> Chelsea will watch Hakim Ziyech for the remainder of the season after failing with a bid to land the Ajax winger in January. Aha! As head coach Frank Lampard plans a summer shake-up for his squad. Sounds like a dance party. Ziyech was the subject of an approach from Chelsea last transfer window, January, but Ajax were adamant that he had to see out the season in Holland after signing a new contract in August, which means he will be expensive. Ajax are, however, braced for new bids in the summer when they accept it will be far too hard to keep the 26 year old. Chelsea head coach Frank Lampard was frustrated not to be able to add Ziyech to his attacking options last month, but could recommend a new move for the player if he continues to impress. So what the ruddy hell does that mean? Well, like many people, I am really, really hoping Chelsea land the just unstoppable superstar Jadon Sancho. Now the thing is, I think they're obviously looking at both players. I think Jadon Sancho is dependent on Chelsea getting Champions League football, I do. Not just for the proposition to attract the player, but also offering Chelsea the additional finances moving forward to fund such a move and balance financial fair play more so. They want to bring in as much funds as possible because if they buy Sancho he'll probably cost like 120 million plus and they want other players too, so you know, they're gonna do everything they can. Champions League football is gonna be important for that. Now maybe, for some reason, I think Ziyech might still come to Chelsea if Chelsea are in Europa League, because the jump is still big enough and he probably sees the ambition of Chelsea and you know, he knows that he'll probably think like, I'm the Eden Hazard replacement, you know, that sort of will lift him in its own right. Do you know what I mean? So it's interesting, if Chelsea, are, the rumors get closer and closer, like this is reported by Matt Law, so, Chelsea did bid for Hakim Ziyech in January. They did want him. So for me, that's all like gospel now. But what does it mean about Chelsea's approach for Jadon Sancho? Because I do heavily preference him over Hakim Ziyech. Do you know what I mean? I mean, Sancho's out in Germany literally breaking records over and over and over and just looking like, by far and away, Dortmund's best player. And Ziyech, let's take a look at what Ziyech is doing this season. Okay, yeah, so things are looking pretty good for him. <laughs> <laughs> in 18 appearances in the Eredivisie, so obviously a weaker league than, well, significantly weaker league than the Premier League, 18 appearances, he has 6 goals and 12 assists. So that is 18 goal involvements in 18 appearances. A goal involvement per appearance is a very, very good return. A little bit worrying though, because 12 assists is obviously an insane number. That's what like Jadon Sancho has. Or maybe he's got 13 assists now and 12 and 13 goals, which is obviously just crazy. And in a much harder league in Germany. But 12 assists is great, but don't you need a goal scorer to be putting away all these chances that he's flooding in? You know, I'm just a little bit worried about that. Would he have 12 assists at this point in this Chelsea team? I don't know, not sure. Would he even have six goals in the Premier League? I'm not sure either. Still, you know, you get my concerns, right? The fact of the matter is he's a superb player. He's in his prime, he's 26 years old. He's a good investment. He's not the best investment. I mean, if, if you buy someone like Jadon Sancho and sign him up to a five-year deal, you're signing up a 19 or 20-year-old superstar at that point, locking him down for five years, you're always gonna see a return on your investment. Whereas Ziyech, he might cost like 70 million or something. I don't know. And then you won't get, if, you, if he plays for you for four years, you won't really get a great return for him unless he signs an additional contract and you send him off to China or something. Do you know what I mean? Personally, I think there's more risk in Hakim Ziyech. I think he hasn't got this super, super, superstar quality of Jadon Sancho, but at the end of the day, he's a very, very good player. And if Chelsea have the option of, you know, Ziyech or no Ziyech, they should absolutely get him because he is one of the superstar wingers that will be available, just not the top of the top of the top. Yeah, dig. Anyway, what do you guys think? I'm always really interested to get your thoughts and opinions on everything I talk about as per usual. So get down in the comment section below, express your thoughts on Billy Gilmore. How important do you think Billy Gilmore can be for Chelsea, say, next season? He might make a few more appearances this season off the bench at most, considering where we are in this season. But how important do you think he'll be next season? And where do you see him playing on the pitch in that midfield? 
Let me know that. And also, what do you think about Hakim Ziyech? I know some people actually prefer him to Jadon Sancho. I don't see it that way personally, but I'm interested in getting your thoughts on the player as well. So get down in the comment section and tell me your thoughts on that too. If you enjoyed this video today, guys, please do like it. That means a lot. I appreciate all your support that you've been giving me. Remember to subscribe as well. We're so close to 40,000. I'm making these videos every day. I'm really ill. I'm pulling myself through because I want to deliver this content. Repay me by subscribing to the channel sharing it on your social medias hopefully we can get to 40,000 quickly that would be great also follow me on social media at football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter I'm going to lie down you lot enjoy the football and I will see you later you ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck I'm gonna get it how I'm living I'm gonna walk the walk outline my lines I rap through thought body bag the verse outline the chalk in my life seen trouble, hustle on the double, silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle, yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble, I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me be